Well, hello, I just got in from the yard and what I'm going to be doing is taking some of the white lilacs and putting them in our sitting room. I just wanted to um, enjoy the scent if I'm sitting there in the morning and I just thought they'd be very beautiful in there. I know I've shown probably three times how I like to use this stretchy mesh. It's what goes around bottles when you're at a store, like maybe your local liquor store, if you have two bottles, they would put this around the bottle to keep them from banging next to each other. And if you can hear Willow walking around, that's she's, she's always around me. So I'm going to use this again to hold the lilacs in place because sometimes they're a little top heavy and they will just fall over. Now this piece, I could probably just cut it um, or leave it like this and tape it down, but I think I'll cut it and make it to size. I've used this one before. I might even actually have one that I've already cut. So I'm going to check first before cutting this because sometimes I can just put this inside and that works also for holding the flowers in and then I'd fill this up with water. All right, so that's what we're going to do today. And then I'm going to give you a mini house tour. Um, I haven't done a lot here in the house now that we've been house hunting, but I think I'll just give you a little spring house tour and show you where things are. And some of you are new here, so you've never seen a few of my rooms here downstairs. So let me go check for this and I'll be right back. Okay, I just went down to my gardening room, but I wanted to show you a close up of this. So once again, this is just one of those mesh, plastic mesh. I have them in black, green, and clear in my local um, liquor store and also our local grocery stores that sell wine and whatnot use these so that when two bottles are next to each other, they don't clank. So I've been asked where I get them. That's where I get them. And I did have one downstairs already cut. So I've used this before. I'm going to put this aside. And this is the container I think I'm going to use today. I've got some fingerprints left to clean off. Oh, and you know why? This is why I'm having troubles with the tape. I have the wrong one. This is wall safe tape. I use this when I'm putting wallpaper up on walls to test it. So that works out well for that situation, but not so much for working with flowers. And this would be even better with uh, floral tape. So I'm going to just cut this open on the, the seam here. And I'm just going to open it and push it inside to make a little dome like that. It's kind of like a frog. Oops, more tape. So I'm going to fill that up with some water. Okay. And let's see if I can find the one that I just freshly cut at the beginning. And all I'm going to do is tuck that inside and it holds it up. Now I can start with my tall one in the center if I want. Um, these will all keep in place once they start grouping together. So I'm gonna just take off some of these leaves and see what I have for some greenery. So I'm gonna tuck some of that around the edges. I'm going to give this a fresh little cut here, a nice long angle cut. And I'm not going to, you know, take too much time on this. This is for the sitting room. It's for me to enjoy, for Ben to enjoy in the morning. So like once again, I'm just doing a nice tall angled cut here. Actually, I'm going to go above the, that eye. Nice tall cut so that it will soak up some water. And it's going to go right inside one of those mesh pieces. 
I might even go out and get some Lily of the Valley. Can you imagine the two scents together? The lilac and Lily of the Valley. Amazing. I'm going to get some purple lilac afterwards for the kitchen here. I actually have a client coming a little bit later to look at some things here at the house. And it's another reason the house got cleaned up a bit. All right, so you know, that's just nice and flowy and light. But the, the clear mesh, it's, it's hard to see. But once again, I can now put in some greenery if I'd like around the edges. I'm just going to pull off some of the leaves here. I'm going to give those a fresh cut too. Just to have it hang around the edge. If you've been afraid to do floral arranging because you're afraid you're going to do something wrong, if they're flowers from your yard, j just do it and enjoy it. Um, and that's how you will learn. And then some of you, once again, you're probably watching me realizing there is other ways to do this. You might not, not like what I'm doing, but um, that's the whole thing with fine living. You do what you like to do that makes you happy. And this makes me happy. Now, I'm so crazy cuckoo that I'm going around and I'm going to pull off some of the, the brown flowers because they're sticking out and showing to me. Hmm. What do you say we go get some lily of the valley to pop in here too? I think we should. Or I might do Lily in a Valley in another container because this is just nice and simple. We can go put that in the sitting room. I think that's what we'll do. I'm going to take that back. We're going to just leave this alone and put Lily of the Valley in a whole other container. just want to put this around the edges, see if I have any other longer pieces. I could always grab more, that's for sure. We have it. Once again, easy peasy, nice and simple. Just bring in a little bit of outside in. Yeah. You'll see this on the house tour. I'll tell you about that in a moment. time to take out the pussy willows. I just really liked the color in here. But maybe I'll put one of my green topiary balls inside that. I just played a little bit with putting the lilacs up on a green book. I just can't get myself to put the pussy willows in the attic yet, so I think they're going to stay for a little bit. Well, I thought I would show you. Willow is in here. She just watched her daddy drive off and she gets very sad, very depressed. <laughs> but this room, I haven't done anything since you last saw me put up the window treatments. One thing about cushions that are removable, I'm constantly fluffing and puffing them. This, this section also keeps coming apart on me. Um, we don't know if the link down below inside has broken or what, but um, this sofa for sure, wherever we move to, whenever we move, pretty sure it's going to come up with us, but I'm going to have it recovered in probably an ultra suede. This has feather interior. It's a these are down pillows. <laughs> Thanks, Willow. And there's feathers that come out everywhere. Also, when we purchased this sofa, which is a consignment find, we didn't have a lovely dog who we do spoil. Um, we cover this a lot of times when we leave the house, but then there's still times that we forget and she will jump up here and it needs to be cleaned. 
that's all there's to it. Like this pillow needs to be cleaned. Um, but it's very comfortable. It, it really works out well for a small room. This is a very small room. And thanks, Willow. Um, it's a very small room, but we do like it. It's comfortable. Like I said, I'll probably recover it if I'm, I'm kind of out of frame here. Just fixing my curtains. I've actually had to, here's another funny thing I've had to do. Let me show you this. The sofa leans backwards. I don't know if I can get a view of that. No, I can't. I'm sorry. The sofa actually leans back. So it was pressing against the window treatments and crushing them. So behind the sofa, I do have some boxes and books to push the sofa forward. I'm, have to, I'm just going to go here and fix the sofa again, this cushion. It's going to bug me. I can never get these right, but I've had a sofa where they were attached backs and I had a dog that did lay on it all the time, another one, and I could never turn them and fluff them. So that was that situation. But yes, behind the sofas here, I do have some boxes hidden to push the sofa out a bit. Oh, that corner one's going to bug me too. Oh, welcome to my world of OCD. Let's see here. Is that better? I don't know. You and your itchies. Want to know what was squeaking? It was Frederick. Remember Frederick? So yes, once again, nothing different in this room at all. We have had discussion if I take this mantle with us when we move. For those who are new here or for those who haven't seen it, this mantle has come with me from my childhood home. This is what I mean. This, so this came with me from my childhood home. It was a mantle that my mother and I removed from a house that we lived in and found a huge, beautiful fireplace behind it. So I've had this mantle in my stores for props. I've had it in past homes with painted out fake fireplaces, which were beautiful. And then when we came here, it fit perfect. I just had to do some modification along the bottom here. I put on the little strip molding and then I painted the bricks out to make them look old. These were kind of a bright orange. Ooh. These were kind of a bright orange bricks. So I painted those to look antique. I don't know when this was done over. I'm going to clean out my fireplace soon. This copper pot, it holds wood in the winter. And in the summer, I put in ferns. And sometimes I will tuck that into the fireplace, usually in the dining room. This one I leave open because on some chilly nights, we will still use this. Hello, Miss Pierce. And once again, the sitting room, which we just put in the flowers. I haven't done anything in here yet. I do have somebody coming to put shelves in this closet for us. Um, they were supposed to have been here beginning of May, but they got held up on another project. And now with the wood prices going sky high for some reason, I really don't know. Our quote changed a little bit, but not much. It's a small project. And in the dining room, really nothing different. The only thing I need to do is still put some things away from Mother's Day. I haven't done that yet. I've got my silver here, and I'm going to be putting them in here. A lot of people asked where I keep my things. This I have not organized yet. I, mean, I can't do this with one hand. This I haven't organized yet. So in here, I keep a lot of my china. I've got some of my Limoges up there. I've got some silver I need to clean. 
and then I have a lot of my wine glasses and martini glasses. Those were in another location. I put them in here temporarily when we went through a kitchen remodel and I never changed it. So this whole cabinet needs a do-over. I'm actually thinking of donating these white dishes in the back. I like them, I use them, but they're from my first marriage and need I say more? I don't think so. <laughs> so those might go. Let somebody else enjoy them. My, I already asked my daughter if she wants them and she said, nope, they got bad juju. I thought that was a good enough answer. So, but yes, nothing much different here. So every time we go look at a house, I do try to see if this piece will fit. I pretty much want to make sure it fits in anything. Of course, I'm not going to pass on a house where it doesn't, but it's one of my favorite pieces. It does come in two sections, so I could absolutely fit it into a house. It's just the height. Now, could the bottom section be used for a TV? I think so. I almost forget what that looks like, so it could be modified, but I would hate to have to take that apart. And I, once again, I have this whole thing I have to do over. I just have it. I pretty much just put everything here willy-nilly. This is one of those fun rainy day projects. But when the, my children kind of surprised me with a, a brunch, I quickly put the stuff in here because I had the table set with the uh, Royal Staffordshire that I showed everybody in a previous video, which I love. I'm trying to decide if I want to do a garden party using some of that. And let me slowly turn this way just to show you. Let me give you a little insight about this hole. There was a small hole here. I like to explore. I wanted to see what the staircase looked like underneath. I had a small hole. I fixed it. I have a contractor coming in. We were going to do a door here. I still might, but I just haven't pulled the trigger to order one, so I still might. He's going to be building a shelf in here, or I might just leave it alone with the door, but here's the sto short story long. He couldn't see in there enough to look at the framing, so I said, let me go get a hammer. I went to go get a hammer, and he said, no, no, that's okay. He said, stand back, and he kicked the hole. Now, keep in mind, I laughed. He knew this was all being done over, but I think I still would have used the hammer and chisel to go in versus foot. <laughs> but anyways, so he got held up. I have been, or Ben and I have been living with this now for about a month and a half. But I did find out when I did the exploratory, there are new sawzalls in there. Um, so this was all done over probably... It was done in the 40s, and then also I know the previous owner did this in the 90s. So the stairway's new. That's that story. At one point, I'm hoping to have a door here if we stay. If not, I will let the next owners deal with that. And let's see. You probably saw that I painted this hallway. And I'm going to get some fresh flowers here. I need to put my ladder away. And some of you might be wondering about the breakfast nook update with the wallpaper. I don't have an answer for you. I am getting very frustrated at myself as a client. I am the worst client possible. I do keep coming back to this pattern and these colors. But if I don't pull the trigger right away, I know it's not right. I usually like to go with my first gut instinct, which was this top one. In person, it is a little bit lighter and brighter, kind of more celery color. I just can't get myself to pull the trigger. And it's kind of like the wallpaper in the sitting room. I couldn't find anything, and then all of a sudden I flipped a page in a book, and I couldn't buy it fast enough. I want that to be the same feeling for this room, or else I'll regret it. Just like the stair carpet. Let me go back and show you that. Like, I don't know why I'm taking you on this long house tour today, but 
Um, the stairway carpet here, I've got stuff to go up to my office on the steps, but I went very traditional. I didn't go with my gut, my first instinct, which I had, I had a stripe that I liked and I also had stars that I really liked. I like this, but it's still not as fun and whimsical as I wanted to do. Should you be on the sofa? Yeah, who's, who are we kidding? She's queen. Well, that's it for now for the house tour, and I hope to be pulling together a video very soon just to show you some of the houses that we've driven by to look at, some that we went inside. We've actually made a written offer on a home that's not for sale, but there was interest. Um, we did go look at it, but we haven't heard back. It is lower than what the homeowner would like for sure, but there's things that we would want to do to it, so we kept that in mind. And I've even gone to homes and left letters in mailboxes. These are homes that are lived in part time. They may have purchased them and haven't moved in yet for a year, mind you. So we're trying all types of things right now, even though we're not in a hurry. Once we pulled that Band-Aid off and realized that we wanted to move, it's kind of hard not to try to keep the ball rolling, but we'll let you know. But thank you for visiting my home and lifestyle channel, New England Fine Living, where I hope to help inspire you to find your own version of fine living, no matter how simple or grand that may be, no matter where you live. Bye now.